Yeah, I think we can start. Right, okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's webinar. And my name is Angela Ning. I'm the general manager of IAE Global London office. So IAE Global is a leading provider of the international student recruitment. Sorry, I just let somebody in. While I'm talking, still somebody want to join in our webinar today. So today we are presenting MBA with University of Hertfordshire, and it's our pleasure to have Hertfordshire's key yeah, staffs yeah. here. And we have yeah. Herminia Alo Bait, the Deputy Associate Dean of Business School. Hi, Herminia. Hello, everyone. And we also have the Dr. Ionis Claudis. Hi, Ionis. Hello. Sorry, Hello. Hi. my pronunciation may be a little bit wrong. No, it's fine. It's very difficult. <laughs> The name is difficult to pronounce. Yeah. That's and, fine. Also we and also we have Gavin Time, the deputy head of international recruitment here. Hi, Gavin. Hello, everyone. Hello. Right. So let me kick off a, a quick start or quick introduction of our company, IA Global. So IA Global started as a single office in Seoul, South Korea. Over 29 years, IA Global has become one of the largest and the most diverse student recruitment organizations in the world. We have become an industry leader in the international student recruitment. We have a board base presents in major students orientation country from China, India, Japan, Korea, Thailand, Vietnam, Indonesia, Nepal, and also other key markets around the world, as well as the destination countries and where our partner institutions are located, like US, UK, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, and also other major destination countries. So the scale and the international reach of our network means we can offer recruitment experts in a various country. It also means that we have closer relationship with and also better knowledge of the institutions of our students attend, like University of Hertfordshire. So here is our London office contact details. Please feel free to contact us if you have any problems and would like to apply for the university. And also if you are outside of the UK, you can also contact us because I can pass your contact details to our local, local office as well. So now without any further, and I just passed the host to the, uh, Gavin right now. Thank you. Gavin, just let you know, and what, because we just started, there are still quite a lot of people to join in our webinar. So please uh, just uh, allow them in admin them while oh, okay. you are in the host. No problem. I will do. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you now. Yeah. Right. Thank you very much. Just try to find my uh, presentation. Um, Yeah, we can see it. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Um, thank you, everyone. Welcome to join a University of Hertfordshire MBA uh, webinar. Today, uh, yes, like Angela already uh, introduced, we have two uh, on a guest from, from our university, Business School. One is uh, Harmonia, uh, is of Associate Dean, uh, Deputy Associate Dean International, and also Ionis, the Director of MBA program, also the senior lecturer at University of Hertfordshire. Um, yeah, Aha. sorry, the, the, the screen moved a little bit quick. <laughs> sorry. Uh, before we start it, I welcome um, uh, Haminia, give us a, a short speech. Um, uh, welcome, uh, please, Haminia. Okay, um, well, welcome to the session um, for everyone. Firstly, I would like to acknowledge you for being here today and for giving us the opportunity to talk to you about our MBA programs. And when thinking what to tell you about the university and what to share with you, what came for me is our vision. So within the University of Hertfordshire, our vision is to, trans is to transform lives. Now, this can be quite big word. Uh, and I wanted to explore a little bit more what it means to me. So when, when I look at transformation, this transforming lives is truly meaningful. Um, to me is the best way to describe it 
is tapping into knowledge you did not know you did not know, if that makes sense. When completing the MBA, you will be exposed to loads of information. You will learn a lot. Um, however, we do aspire to go beyond that. And it's trying to get you to operate from a new context, to power that potential within you, and to get you to achieve the best for yourself, those around you, and the world. And not forgetting, we do operate in the world. Um, and what is our contribution uh, in our life. Um, the other thing that came to mind is mm -hmm. learning is a journey, is, is a lifelong journey. So please don't, don't stop whatever you do, continue, um, and be exposed to new, new things in your life. And with this, I have two very small requests for today. I would like to encourage you to think of at least one question from the session today, whether you ask the question or not, it doesn't matter. And the other thing is have fun. So chill out, relax, and show, show the joyful self. Thank you. Okay, I Thank pass you, it on to Gavin now. Thank you for listening. Yeah. Thank you. And have fun. I Hamina will be uh, with us for this webinar and uh, she will help us to answer the question in the Q&A section later. That's why let's go to the presentation. Yeah, G Gavin, b before we move on with the presentation, is it the yeah. time now to introduce, I've noticed that our important addition to the uh, meeting, to the, the panel. Uh, a sure, current sure. MBA student is with us, so it's, it's maybe a good moment to introduce him, just to say that we have someone from the, from the okay. program. All right. Um, we also have, uh, 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 say today, we, that's a part I uh, probably missed already. <laughs> um, I introduce the author. First of all, I introduce the, um, we won't take turns, okay? We go uh, pass to everyone in Q. Okay. 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 Uh, first of all, I pass to uh, uh, Haminia again. Sorry. <laughs> could you could you give us an introduction about yourself and what kind of role you're working at the University of Hufford Business School? Oh, is it back to me? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um. The my role within the business school is I I manage the operational side um of all our, of most of our international partners within the business school. Um, I look after the academic staff who are the main liaison between the university and um, our partners um, internationally. Um, I work very closely with Gavin. Um, I'm also a principal lecturer. Um, my subject expertise is within marketing and strategy. And I think at the university, it makes me quite old. Um, I think it's something 2006. I was here earlier and then left and came back. That's how much I like the university. <laughs> so I've been, I've been teaching for, for quite a while uh, at the university. Thank you. That's me. Thank, Thank you. you. Now, uh, I'll hand over to uh, Yonis. Could you do, introduce yourself? Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Gavin. Um, hello, everyone. My name is, I have this strange name, Yanis, uh, spelled with I-O-A rather than L-O-A that people believe. So I'm the MBA director, uh, uh, um, and I'm, I'm really proud to, to be uh, leading this program. Uh, I'm part of a wonderful team. We've been working very hard to design this program for which I'm going to give you information in, in a couple of minutes. Um, so I, I'm excited to belong to this team and uh, I, I'll be in the school, hopefully to support you, to welcome you and to give you any assistance that you may need during your studies if you choose to, to come with us and uh, uh, complete the MBA. My research area and my expertise, my area in general would be in strategy broadly speaking, even though I have more specific interest in corporate governance. Uh, this is what my PhD was on. Uh, I've been in the university since 2016, so five years now. Um, yes, that's, that's a short introduction from, from me. Thank you. I'll introduce myself. 
in Khan um, of international recruitment, working at the international office at the University of Hertfordshire. Um, my job is more support for uh, the professional for recruitment, also support students when they, before they join the university and uh, um, help uh, also manage a team in, in different regions, in different countries. Um, also, I'm a senior uh, regional manager for Southeast Asia and East Asia, including China. Um, if you have any questions or uh, any student got inquiry, could contact us. You know, I, 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 this is my major job to support. Today, um, I, I'm the host uh, here and uh, uh, also introduce our MBA uh, staff, uh, teachers come to do, introduce our, uh, this program. Also, we invite one of our current students to, to share his uh, experience and um, hopefully can help uh, the future student or your partners understand why students choose University of Hertfordshire, why they choose the MBA. Right, um, I, could, I put it on the screen the agenda today. We will do the MBA introduction first, that we will allow the student to share this experience. And the, uh, then next one uh, will be my part is to do the uh, update from university. I think some of you might really uh, interesting about to know about the COVID-19 update from University of Hertfordshire, which is I will put in there. Then it's Q&A section. That's why like Haimani uh, mentioned uh, this kind of little, little a task there, everyone prepare something. You can raise this in the uh, chat room that we can uh, read it out for you to answer that. Or um, you can contact with IE staff, pass uh, in the Facebook and pass the question to us. We will try our best to answer all the questions in the Q&A section. All right, now I hand over to, let me see my screen. Kevin, yeah. could yeah. I just mention, I don't know whether it is only me, but I can hear you quite far. Um, oh. So it, I don't know better? whether it's only me. Uh, a, let me. A bit, yes, a bit far, but it, it is okay now. It is okay, I think. It's better. Okay, I try to hold this one, but yes. my mic That's got a little better. problem. Thank okay, you. thank you. Uh, I hand over to Ionis now. Um, if you want to turn the page, then let me know. Uh, turn off my uh, camera just to, to save some bandwidth for you. Thank you. Thank you, Gavin. Yeah. Um, so I, I'll start by saying that uh, I believe since you are here with us today for this uh, session, it must be that uh, you, you understand how an MBA among all the different postgraduate degrees in business and management differs. So it is one of these programs that uh, helps significantly in, in future careers uh, in the business and management roles that you can find in different organizations. Um, it, it's been a popular degree for decades, not in our university only, but uh, in general. And uh, I'm, I'm making this introduction because I would like to, to, to explain the logic behind our MBA in our school. An MBA typically is covering all business and management areas that someone would need at a middle or even higher level of management, being a CEO of a small company or working for a large organization. Um, so what is typically covered in an MBA is all these important functions that you would find in uh, across the different departments in an organization. And we do the same. So we help uh, students get prepared, get ready for the future careers and uh, make sure that when uh, progressing in their careers uh, to, to have all these tools and all this knowledge that is needed uh, to run an organization, small or large. And these functions include marketing, finance. Uh, I'll get there in a minute. There is a slide that follows. But Gavin, if you could uh, move to the next slide, thank you. But while designing this MBA, we couldn't ignore some of the important trends that are found um, currently uh, across the markets in the, and across countries. We've done market research. We've checked um, uh, the, the um, uh, scientific academic uh, progress, the literature. So in many different ways, we realized that while an MBA is an extremely valuable degree, and it does cover all these important aspects that a, a, a manager of an organization needs. Um, we realize that there are certain areas, we call them fields in the MBA, that uh, students can benefit from. So when you join us for an MBA, you have the option, if you want, 
to select any of these fields that you see on, the, on your screens right now. Um, some of them, as an example, healthcare, entrepreneurship, sustainable industries, data analytics, all these fields or categories uh, are not just a random categories. It's a result of a lot of work that we have done, a lot of research we have done. So what you will be doing if you select any of these fields is still completing the MBA, which will equip you, will give you all the knowledge that is needed to become a manager in an organization. But if, let me pick healthcare, for example, if you have an interest working in the healthcare sector, you'll have the chance, and the same applies for all fields that we have, you'll have the chance during your studies to get some extra insight and some extra experience, uh, and I'll explain uh, how, into this field or sector. So not only you will complete an MBA with all the general knowledge that is needed to run an organization, but if you want to work in healthcare or in uh, human resources or in consultancy, you will also get some expert uh, views, experience, expertise, support during your studies. And I'll explain in a minute how this will work. Um, if we move to the next slide, Gavin, please. Thank you. This is the design of the MBA. Having said that you will have the option to choose one of our fields, all students will be completing these six modules. Now, I understand next question would be how then one, uh, the experience of one student would differ from this experience of another. These are the six areas, main areas that I was talking about that are uh, needed for someone to get ready to get prepared uh, for, for uh, management of organization. So you can see we have human resources management, marketing and entrepreneurship, financial management and analysis, operation and business analytics, very current uh, topic that is uh, essential. It is very important in organizations. And then on the left side of this circle, we have the two final modules of the uh, final in order, I mean. So these are the two last modules that you will be studying in your degree. One being strategic management research and the other one being executive career and professional development. Now, during the la this last semester, by the way, this is a full-time degree. It means one year of studies it, it spread into three semesters. And every semester you will be studying two modules. So in the last third semester of your studies, you'll be studying strategic management and executive career and professional development. During this semester, we, are, we have planned to offer you this input uh, from experts in the areas, in the different fields that we are offering to you, so that while you are studying these two modules, on the side, you will be getting these experts um, uh, material and uh, views that will allow you to prepare submitting your work in these two last modules, your assessments, in relation by, by having a focus in one of these fields that you will have selected, if you select one. Uh, you still have the chance, if you want, to do the generic MBA without choosing any field. But, and then you still get some extra support even if you don't select a field. But uh, that's how you differentiate and you start getting a focus which helps you if you want to work in healthcare, uh, it helps you get some insight and get some um, inside information from the sector, understand the challenges in the sector or the opportunities or how things may work differently in that sector. Uh, I think that's significant. It can also be important writing it in your CV if you have a very, uh, specific plan on how you want to advance in your careers. Uh, all modules carry 30 credits, so they have equal uh, weighting, uh, which is, um, I mentioned that because often, typically, a postgraduate degree would end up with a dissertation, which is usually with more credits. We don't have that, so we don't have a dissertation. We think that it is a lot more current and uh, a lot more useful to end up your studies by doing 
still projects and assessments that are slightly differently designed. So it's not a dissertation. So in these last two modules, you will have projects to complete. And this can be with or without a focus in a field, depending on what you choose to do. Uh, I think that's a brief idea. We can probably move on now to the next uh, slide. And we can come back if you have any questions later. I'm happy to, to explain. In the university, we have lots of resources. That's one of the great advantages that we have, privileges, I would say, excellent teams that can help you in so many different ways. And especially being an international student, I have been a student from, I'm from Greece. So uh, when studying in, in, in the UK, it, I know the feeling, how it is important to feel that you do get support in many different ways. So you can see physical resources in the times that we are living in. Uh, we do have physical resources and online resources have become uh, more and more important. Um, we have an enterprise hub on the Havilland campus. The university has two campuses very close to each other. You can, you can uh, go from one to another in, in five, 10 minutes. Uh, but the business school is located in the, the Havilland campus. And there is dedicated space for the MBA learners, which will give you the, the, the sense of um, community. Uh, it is another important thing when uh, completing an MBA with uh, University of Hartford here. The networking that you will get, uh, the people that you will meet, not only for professional reasons, but also making friends. We should not forget that studying and uh, being in the university is also about that, having an excellent experience and having fun. So you will meet with all uh, your peers, other students, um, having fun, but also you don't know where this may lead. Uh, it could lead to some professional um, opportunities in the future. There is a study room. We have the Learning Resource Center, which is an excellent facility, a building that is the library, but it has also arrange to have one-to-one -one sessions, particularly to get support for your assignments. We do have the careers and employment service as well, which provide um, support in uh, helping you prepare for your careers. Uh, I don't want to go into too many details at this point, but uh, please ask any questions if you have after that. And on the other side, you can see the online resources, library, obviously we have library uh, that is online accessible with uh, thousands of journals and books that you can access and databases. Um, our uh, virtual learning environment is on Canvas, an excellent platform that uh, uh, is the, the home of our modules. This is where you find all information about the modules that you study. And we are using all these features with the opportunity that COVID has given us. We have realized how strong these platforms are and we're using discussions, uh, discussion forums, uh, conferences, uh, quizzes, um, and, and many more. The Academic English for Business support is what I talked about, part of the case. Uh, and Career Hub, that's the same that is in the physical resources. You can still get support online. Um, yes. This is a, a brief idea of how you can get support in many different ways while being uh, in the university. Uh, Gavin, if you, if you would like, I think that's the last thing to share. The learning approach is in the MBA. Again, when designing this program, we considered the ways in which the material and the content will be covered, delivered, and the ways, even more important, that uh, this knowledge and skills will be assessed. We don't feel, having said that, we don't feel that, for example, written exams is the most appropriate way to, to assess 
um, knowledge and skills. So we have tried to eliminate that aspect, that element from assessment. I think there is only one test in one of the modules throughout the whole program, if I remember correctly. But we have lots of formative and summative assessments in, in a great variety, including discussions, quizzes, reflections. Reflection is, is a very um, common thing in, in assessing knowledge because it helps us identify and realize uh, what we've learned in the, in the experience. Um, one more thing uh, is the Young Enterprise Scheme. Uh, I find this very exciting. Uh, by, by joining the Young Enterprise Scheme, which is a charity organization in the UK, what you'll be doing during your studies, that's not linked just to one module, it is at the program level. You'll be joining with other students, teams. So the whole cohort will be divided into teams and you'll be running real organizations. You'll be the managers of these organizations and within your teams with other students, five, around 10 students per company, you'll be making decisions running these companies. And the excellent thing with this is that you will be applying all these theories and frameworks that you will be learning throughout your journey, you will have the opportunity to apply all these uh, in your companies. Um, so it's a very interesting scheme. It runs for many years in the UK, so we are lucky to have it in our program integrated um, and you can make decisions and run these organizations. Um, we we'll have professional development activities. Again, a large, a great variety of, of activities and approaches into learning. Uh, maybe it's not time to go further in details about all this, but uh, I'll be happy to answer questions later on if you, if you want to ask more things. Um, yes? Thank you. Uh, Thank Ernest. you, Gavin. Thank you. Let me see. Now, welcome our uh, student. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Uh, Oh, oh my, it's already here. He's here. Okay, uh, could you unmute your mic? Or if possible, turn your camera on, then we can see you. Uh, hello. Good I can see him. Oh, you can. Okay, I can see you now. Right, thank you. Now I hand over to you um, uh, to share your story with us and um, why you choose University of Hertfordshire to study MBA. And if you can start from uh, a a background into introducing about yourself uh, first, then uh, the follow on your story, it will be good. And I hand over to you, I turn off my camera here, Th please. All right, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Olumi Dewey I'm a Nigerian and uh, I'm a new MBA student at the University of Uh So while I was still in Nigeria, I was looking out for schools to pick and uh, uh, I've already decided on the course I wanted to do, which is a master's of business administration. And I've always had this inch for uh, digital marketing. I've had a bit of campaigns. I did, uh, I did some things in Nigeria. So while I was checking the programs offered by the University of Atrocia, then I saw that, oh, they had uh, this opportunity of me doing the master's in business administration and following the digital marketing pathway which was really amazing. And, uh, and that was part of the reason why I decided to choose uh, University of Hertfordshire. And also due to the location of uh, the location of the university, which is quite, which is quite like very good. Uh, University of Hertfordshire is not in London, uh, but it is quite close to London more than other universities, even in London. I'm talking of central London. So uh, you get to find out that it is just about, uh, I think, uh, 40 minutes, 45 minutes drive uh, from Hartfield to London. Uh, meanwhile, there are some other, uh, to central London, I mean. Meanwhile, there are some other universities, even in the same London, that is quite further to central London to compared to University of Hertfordshire. So it was really uh, a good uh, decision that, okay, yeah, I'll be closer to getting to some nice places. So another, another thing while I decided to choose University of Hertfordshire was due to, I, I read about the lecturers and um, the, the way they teach and uh, 
due to this pandemic, we all know that our lecturers has gone back to being online, uh, Zoom classes and all. And I saw that they have uh, different um, ways where they can support students studying online. Uh, just like Yanis has said, there are so many programs and uh, so many um, pr programs and, uh, and uh, facilities that, that are available for our students to learn easily online. I, I when I got here, I didn't have the Microsoft um, the Microsoft Office program uh, on my system, which was like I didn't have it already downloaded on my system. But I was able to make use of the university's Microsoft uh, program online. So I was able to make use of all the uh, all the uh, Microsoft Word program, such as uh, the Microsoft Word, the Excel, and I was able to make use of it to, for some of my assignments which uh which uh, uh we're already learning in the school um okay so talking about another decision making is uh you know as a student you want to think you're moving to another country uh what's up with the accommodation uh what does it cost me is it is it costly uh on an average you can get an accommodation of about 450 pounds to 500 in around altitude which is uh, quite cheap compared to other places in the UK. As a student, you can see uh, an apartment of about 450 pounds uh, monthly. So that is, that is quite cheap compared to some other places in the UK. And that is an average. You can see something lesser or a bit higher, but an average of 450, 500 uh, for accommodation. Then uh, another thing I want to talk about is the diversity in the university. Our university is quite diverse, as in people from different nationalities, both uh, within the lecturers and Accra and even among the students. I was able to find out that there are so many, like Ian said, he's not from the United Kingdom, he's from Greece, and he is the one in charge of our MBA program. Uh, some of our lecturers are Asian, some of our lecturers are Black, some of our lecturers, like we have various very, like people from different countries, so no one is left behind, no one is feeling different. And even amongst those students, like I have colleagues that are, that are, that are based there in the UK, I have colleagues from other countries, I have my Nigerian friends, they have some, some of my friends from China, from Hong Kong, like all around the world, and we are all students together, like we all converse and due to the fact that we are not even having our lectures online, it doesn't, it doesn't determine maybe we will relate or anything because we have programs that we have to do together in unity. And uh, like Yanni said, some of the programs like YPP, uh, which is the, uh, sorry, the Young Entrepreneur Scheme, uh, it brings about like students into groups whereby you work together to start a company, to start a product together. And you know, you start it from scratch and you know, you start building up and learning more and applying some of these things we are being taught in our modules to the real life situation of getting our business up and running. Uh, so I think uh, that program is really fantastic because you know, it really makes you to know, okay, this is the way an organization is being run. And uh, this is the way I want my business to run. And there are so many frameworks to follow. So once we are being taught in class about uh, the different modes we are offering, you know, you are applying it in the real life sense and you know, you are getting much more understanding of what you are being taught. So it is not just all about just theories alone. So I think that is fantastic from them. Then another thing is, uh, uh, there are some there are some nice places really close to the universities. Uh, so if you are someone that is into sports, you find out that uh, the university is just uh, 15 minutes away from the Arsenal and Watford training ground. Uh, you know London is really is really so. Uh, uh, how should I put it? Uh, there is no much space around for them to train outside the stadiums. So they they find somewhere really close. Uh, which is even out there. So our university is really close to Asna and uh, Watford training ground. And if you are someone that is really interested into rugby, you also see that the Saracens rugby team also train close to the university, to the university location. So you can get to have fun and, you know, go to watch your team play or train. And, you know, there are different uh, areas where, you know, you have fun in the university. 
Um, and lastly, I want to mention that um, there is a quite large uh, Muslim community, Christian communities, whatever religion you are like, there are communities out there in the university that will support you, welcome you with open hands and ready to make you feel valued and welcome to the university. And uh, the, the, the lecturers are all open-minded and they welcome you with any questions you have. Uh, if you have anything bothering you, I think yesterday I still sent an email to Ianis concerning some of uh, our, 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 our deliberations. Like we students, we are having uh, a bit of misunderstanding about something that university was offering us. And Ianis was really helpful to make us understand that, okay, this and this is what was happening and not, not the other way around. So the, the university team, they are really helpful and ready to help us in whatever way we need help. So um, that's that about that. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you very much, <laughs> Onumet. It's, it's a typical, you know, you are the MBA student. You already do a lot of uh, um, introduction about the university. And uh, I, I will re repeat it in my presentation, but very thanks for your uh, share your story and, 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 uh, and your, your background to us today. Very uh, appreciate that. Uh, now, um, I already introduced myself. Uh, I come from international office. I look after how um, the, the uh, South Asia, Southeast Asia and the East Asia market. Um, today, um, I do a quick update about the current uh, um, uh, 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 university doing right now. First of all, I'll give you some update about our uh, uh, general university uh, um, information. First of all, uh, university in 2018, which is government guide ranking system called Teaching Excellence and um, Teaching Excellence Award, a university half should be awarded gold uh, level to approve our undergraduate um, and also postgraduate. The teaching level is, is the top rank in the UK. Second, like uh, uh, our student already mentioned, very close to London from Hartfield, take train to London, King's Cross, the central London uh, station, take about 25 minutes. If you know King's Cross, if you know Half uh, sorry, if you know Harry Potter, you will know King's Cross Station, which is the uh, nine uh, three court uh, platform was there in the movie, right? Um, also, University Half has been put at the second safest university town in the east of England, which is based uh, on the uh, complete university guide. I think the safety is the most important for everyone. Um, particularly for international students, you uh, you leave your home, if your family come to uh, uh, come to UK, the, the safety issue will always uh, the first first uh, priority uh, uh, topic for from your family and your parents' side. Also, University of should provide the scholarship to uh, support students in a financial way. It's up to four thousand pound. Um, this not guarantees that everyone will get it, but uh, it's a it's give you a chance. You need to apply. We, we try a uh, university uh, try to find the uh, best way to support all our students. Also, like I mentioned that we work very close to London. This is a, a very basic map to show you how close we are. You can see half a share is a neighbor uh, share of London. We, we, we have a, a very close, uh, we share the, uh, how say, the, the, the uh, trans, uh, airports around the London area which including the Heathrow Airport, which most international students use. Um, take a, a, a bus, a National Express, I'll take about uh, of one, and 20, one hour and 20 minutes from Heathrow to University of Hertfordshire. But if you can see that they have another airport called the Luton Airport, which is the, we call this the, um, the budget airport. If you can looking for some flights to Europe country, this is the uh, uh, budget uh, uh, airport. They, all, the tickets from there are always cheaper because EZJ, the, the headquarters there, we call the, uh, uh, the home nuts is in uh, Luton Airport. The, uh, the, 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 if you take there, take a, uh, from university, uh, take a coach to there about 30 minutes. It's very near, very close to each other. Even the standard airport, you might can choose is, is still close. Um, we we are a share the benefit that London has, I would say. <laughs> okay, yes, yeah, so this is another thing to London on your doorstep. You know, uh, do, during your spare time, like the students share the story, and so you have a kind of benefit because like the, uh, the uh, airport, 
transportation, also the museums, if you like a culture and also history that uh, most the museum in museums in London as a free of charge, you can, um, you can visit anytime um, when they open and also the, the they have some arts uh, uh, gallery as well. Um, for uh, another thing I just mentioned in the uh, previous slide, is they have airport, major airport around the London area, we share this kind of benefit. Also, uh, one more thing I would put here, um, every year they roughly have thousands uh, of job fair events in the UK, more than 60% is in London. That kind of give you a, a, another benefit. Everyone, probably you already know, the uh, post-study worker um, visa already uh, introduced by the UK government, then uh, start to accept applications from 1st of uh, July. That means that you will have the chance to get a two years working uh, experience or placement or experience in the UK. That is a benefit to give you a chance to find a placement place uh, easier and quicker. Next one, University of Hertfordshire have eight schools. Like we just said today, MBA is uh, located at uh, uh, Hertfordshire Business School. We also have a creative arts, education, health and social work, community law and the life medical science, physics and engineering computer science school. This across about more than 300 subjects uh, uh, through these eight schools. If you, um, if you are interested in other subjects, please let us know. Okay, like a business, uh, Hertfordshire Business School, they have some, some unique point I would put it here. First of all, um, we are support student, graduate student to, uh, to be an uh, entrepreneur, to run their own company, business after they graduate, which is our, uh, uh, the way you can see the picture on the right hand side up to the right hand side is uh, of a new incubate center, which called, uh, you can see the words on the field is entrepreneur hub which we, we do believe nowadays, uh, according to the economics change and quickly, a lot of students uh, started to think about to run their own business rather than find a job, which is probably as a, as the best way, you know, we can support them. Also university uh, uh, have a, another uh, unique point is like the last year, end of last year, um, times at higher education, if you know the ranking side, they organize the ranking, but also they, each two years, they will um, recommend the, the best business school in the UK. And last year, University of Hertfordshire Business School has been shortlisted uh, in that competition. And in the end, obviously, we didn't take that role. But again, in the shortlist, no, only have seven uh, business school in the UK being have this honor to be shortlisted. We are one of them. We're very proud of this uh, uh, this information to spread out, you know, we are one of the best business school in the UK. Also, we are cooperating with the leading businesses, help the student to, uh, to, uh, to know how say, to get some kind of link alumni network, through the alumni network. Like uh, we're one of uh, uh, the CEO uh, of HSBC Bank, it's our alumni, many, um, graduated many, many years ago. Also, we, our university uh, sponsor, in a visa to the international student, allow the student to uh, take 20 hours a week uh, work job, you know, part-time job to support your study. And also part-time job is available on campus either. We have a student ambassador can, uh, to organize the campus tour and help us to do the social media support. Also Unibody is online assistance. If the student got any questions about the program, can find the Unibody in our university website to, to make questions. Um, also, a placement team on campus will help uh, the employee or corporation to have a webinar events on campus, which you don't either you don't need to go to London, you can attend these job fairs on campus. Also, you will have, um, we also integrate the placement year, optional one year in placement. Like a business school, we currently have three programs has the integrate uh, one year placement, uh, one year of finance and investment banking. Uh, tourism, international business. This, three, this placements year will integrate to the whole program. Students study one year at university, go to another roughly one year placement with pay. Uh, employee will pay you the uh, placement internship uh, salary. Uh, MBA is the one program we'll think about it, but hasn't set up yet. Uh, we will keep updating to you um, when we have something, uh, the great news come over if MBA has with a placement. It, it, it is some consideration on this. 
Okay, uh, talking about MBA, I, I have to mention about the uh, uh, some tuition fees. This uh, program currently charge uh, fourteen thousand nine hundred ninety five pound, and uh, if for international student to grant the cost letter for a private visa, we're looking for we request five thousand pound deposit, which talks to tuition fees. That means that uh, when you enroll, it will be part of your tuition fees. Also placements year and also advanced research and study abroad. University half of your won't charge any extra court fees. You don't you don't like the salary you will have in the placement. University not charge that one that money any money from your salaries. Also as a scholarship we provide four thousand pound, and also if you pay in full the tuition fees you will have a five hundred pound discount. Eligible to. Okay, how to apply the uh, university half for share? We have an online application system, particularly for international student. But uh, because if you visit our university website, each program, and down to the page, they have application uh, online application uh, link. But that one is uh, linked to normal link to UCAS. But we, for international student, you don't need to go apply to us uh, through UCAS. You can through our international uh, web page. They have an online application form. Or if you got any confused, you can ask our partner IAE, the, their local office, to help you to uh, prepare all the document and also submit your applications. This line here, um, this is a general saying you need how what you should do to apply university and get visa and come in the end come to uh, UK to uh, register and enroll. Now, I don't want to keep you here too long. And uh, this is final section for Q&A. And uh, if you have any questions, please uh, raise here. Uh, Angela, you, do you want me to hand over back to you? Uh, uh, yes, please, if you don't mind. Uh, yes, but allow me a little bit of time to find a where to hand over back to you. You can just find my name and then just click. Uh, okay, okay, let me try to find your name first. So thank like you very quite, much. Quite, quite a lot of people today here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Just wonder, do you have any questions? Or if you too shy, you can also just a, a personal message me. So there's one question here. When applying, do students apply for the specialties or are these clothes chosen when on the program? I think that's a question for Eunice, right? <laughs> Yes, yes, uh, it's a good question. Uh, we get that I should have also explained. Uh, thank you for asking, uh, Matt. Uh, you, you do have some time after you join the program to select uh, what is your, your field. Uh, I can't remember, it, it is possible during the application process to have a field where you select, but you still have the chance after joining the program for some time during the first semester to, to change your selection or to make a selection. So for the program that just started um, in January, we, we, we gave some time until end of February for students to, to choose. Because during your first semester, you may get a better understanding of what the fields are about. So you, you still have the, the time to, to choose while being in the program in the first semester. Thank you. There's another question here. What is the entry requirement for MBA? I assume that's the questions for both academic and also English. Okay, uh, probably I can uh, put uh, uh, something answer this question. Uh, general thing for MBA uh, entry requirement, we're looking for uh, a good uh, undergraduate degree, and also with ELS is uh, six point zero, so far. Yeah, it so might change it for the in the future, but. So far, this is the current entry requirement for academics and English. I just want to end up one more question. So do you MBA need any working experience when they apply? We don't request the working experience. This is uh, 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 why we call this MBA is unique. And we uh, students apply uh, this MBA, we not request uh, any working experience in the industry. But if a student has, the experience also, for example, the, if they work in the healthy and social works area and they're looking for the MBA for that area, that can help us to you know, understand why the student will choose that, right? That kind, but it's not compulsory. They need the working experience. Okay, understood. Thank you. Any more questions? 
So Ian, actually I have a question. And I remember you was talking about the students will have one test in one module. So when you're talking about test, so it will be an examination, right? So what kind of test exactly? Um, th that's now a technical thing. Uh, I don't think it's an examination. No, it's not an examination. It right. is a test that can be even taken online. So when we when we say in the university examination, it has to follow the formal rules of examination. So being seated in rooms, uh, having the duration of two hours. It right. is in the finance module, I, I, I remember. And it is a test that counts towards the, the final mark. So I assume all the six modules, you only ask in assignment. Yeah, um, different types. Could be presentations, could be written assignments, group work, individual work. Uh, so, so there is a variation of different types of assignments. Uh, wow. We have quizzes. Um, quizzes, okay. Mm -hmm. So that looks like they just put their, um, uh, what they learn into the practice directly without any more, I will say more paperwork or go, or they don't need to sit down in the classroom to do the exam, but uh, I mean, like they are in the primary school, high school, things like that. Yes. They don't need to do that. Yeah, exactly. We, we've considered that and we thought that it's time to, to offer different types of uh, learning uh, that, that is more efficient. Yeah, I, I think uh, Haminia has something to talk, to say. <laughs> yeah, please, Haminia. I thought I'd just, uh, yeah, I'm not muted. I just wanted to add to Ionis, um, I guess coming from a country where examination was the rule, I just want to expand on it. Um, the focus is not on memorizing. You still need to, to know the, the, the topic and to know the theories. Um, however, the focus um, in the UK and our institution is the application. So once, once you learned is how you interpret um, that. And there is a big focus as well on critical thinking and research. So for any assignment, an exam actually seems easy. You go, you, you study, if you're good with memory and if not, there are techniques, whereas when you do an assignment, we aim to develop a different, um, a different skill, uh, mainly being critical thinking, um, research, so lifelong learners. So even when they finish the MBA, if anyone is interested about a topic, they know how to go about learning about that. And collaboration and discussion. Hence, all these different types of assessments than traditionally, and for me, you know, I come from Spain, it wasn't quite there um, when I studied. And it was a bit, a bit different when I came to study here in the UK. Thank you. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. That's very useful for us to know. I think we got some more questions. What is the last day of application for MBA course? Yeah, I think that's a question for me. Um, this is a very good question. Uh, but the problem is that, you know, uh, uh, for university strategic uh, international recruitment, we, uh, we will set up the, the application deadline with a different uh, market, particularly for MBA. MBA is very popular. As I said, uh, we started from January. We only recruited 100 students at the target, but very quick and full. You know, that's why I will recommend if you're looking for the MBA course at University of Hertfordshire, Put your, submit your application as early as you can. Don't wait for the last minute. We cannot guarantee that time that, that still have a place for student. And also in the different, for, if you come from different regions, we have in-country office, please contact them to find the, your, your air region's deadline. Because uh, for example, some kind, we are very popular in some market, then the, the, we have to get the diversity like uh, Ionis already introduced, uh, also student experience we're looking for um, to provide, how they're looking for the program can provide a more, a, the chance for students to get multiple uh, uh, culture involved with and make friends, extend the network in for future career with in the different area. Well, you don't, you're not looking for somewhere, you know, or for the, with one, uh, I'll say, uh, nationality student in one classroom. That's why we, we, this is another reason why we say that the different market, we have a different deadline. And the contact our, in, uh, um, in-country office, they will help you. 
Thank you. One more question here. What is support for international student to find a job after graduate? Okay, that's a question to me as well. I think <laughs> the first thing, we're like you know, in already introduced in the program, we try to give the student more opportunity to practice the skills which, uh, which they will, might will face in the real work, real job in the future. That is very important. This is also the the um, the, the, the authority idea why we designed this program to students. Also, school has a career um, team to support the student up, uh, how to, to correct the, not correct the, to, to how to, to let the student know how to make a good CV and also how to approach in the, the cover page or the, also prepare the interview sort of thing. And for university side, we have a career uh, in, in pro, employment uh, and uh, uh, a career center. They also provide a lot of support as well. Even for student graduate from university, we still provide a three years uh, support for student uh, to in the career area development. Then that's, that's all the information uh, provided by the alumni team and also the uh, improbability team. That's Thank all you. support. Like Thank another, you. I just mentioned before, uh, uh, the program is a school, a school is considered to find the opportunity to upgrade a current MBA program to be MBA with placement. That's something, you know, I suppose not say that here, but it's a potential in the future, MBA student will have uh, another uh, uh, opportunity, you know, get some more job uh, practice placement. Thank you. I think you have answered the second question as well. Is there any internship or placement? So right now, MBA is without placement, without internship. Am I right? Yeah, so far we don't have. Thank you. This is the plan. <laughs> this is our plan, but haven't make a uh, setup yet. Okay, there's another question. I think it's about employment as well. So what is the graduate employment rate? What roles did the students often go to after graduation? Did they mostly work in the UK or outside the, the country? Okay, um, <laughs> if you don't mind, Hamani, let me take off this question. You know, I think it's more talking about how uh, uh, the graduate, graduate employee rate. Um, this is a, a, a normal marketing team will do. Um, because this MBA program is new, we just start from uh, January. We don't have any uh, student graduate from the, this program, but we came to see the, the number, the graduate, I think most of the students will find a job very quick. The reason I explained it, we give a full support to all our students. Also, for university general thing, our employer rate is uh, for students find a job in uh, six months is over 93%. That's just general thing, whole university. That this can show you something, you know, student will find a job after they graduate or go take the further education. Um, for the, uh, the second part of the question, did they mostly work in the UK or outside the country? That is something I can't give you the <laughs> details. They they multiple, you know. This is all be, uh, belong to the student or um, the, the 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 interesting and the background. Also, where the country they come from. We do have students find the job in in the UK and get a work permit afterwards. Like we said, we have a program with placement, uh, not for MBA, for other program with placement, which give the student kind of opportunity to get actual one year work experience that help them uh, increase the opportunity to find a job in the UK. But again, now have a PSW, uh, UK government support graduate student get a job in the UK. We, I, will, I will quite positive to see this kind of result will go up very quick. You know, even uh, more students will find job in the UK in the future. As uh, I hope uh, if uh, uh, Harmonia and uh, Ernest, if you have anything add up, please. I'll, I'll share something here that might be relevant. Um, I came to the UK in 97 to, to set up a business to attract investors. And when I came here, um, I thought there were quite a lot of opportunities. And I wanted to move from the tourism industry where I was into computers because there was more money. Um, so I thought I'd come to the university uh, and that's why I did the MBA, literally to, uh, to move industry. Um, and also because I was new, I couldn't understand the jokes in the UK and I still don't, uh, even after all these years. 
So maybe the, the key message um, that I am trying uh, to put forward is people might do, students might do the, the MBA for different reasons. It might be to gain deeper knowledge on a specific area that they want to focus on. Um, it might be as an entry into an industry uh, that they want to go into um, to advance their studies. In the UK, we are required to hold um, the data as to the progression of the, of the students, uh, but this is not a requirement for international students. They still tell us what, what they do um, and maybe something to add within the university, we pride ourselves for our connection with industry. Um, so when it comes to employment, we have a very high rate uh, of employment. And this is a student's been on employment six months after completing the program or progressing their studies. And in this case, it would be a PhD or another master uh, program. Thank, Thank you. you. Yonis, would you like to add anything? No, not really, not really. I see in the chat box the question about uh, seeking advice uh, for what type of work, but uh, I would agree generally an MBA is, is, is a program that can offer all different kinds of opportunities and uh, it's a great generic management program in a sense that um, it, uh, it um, equips students with all the tools and all the uh, knowledge and skills needed from running a family business to working in large organizations, running a department, uh, becoming um, uh, even, even a project manager, a freelancer, all kinds of works that you, you may think of. An MBA gives you all this knowledge that you need to, to be um, sustainable in, in uh, uh, improving performance and generating more uh, profit uh, as a single person business or working in a large organization. So there is no particular advice, but you can use it in so many different ways. Okay. Maybe you, just to add um, yeah. that, you know, like it kind of brings me back. I did get into computers, so I, I, I did um, actually, it's like the, the big money uh, in terms of um, consultancy for Microsoft and Dell that I would have thought, um, I, would not, I would have never thought at the time. Um, but yes, it did happen and I did work for, um, for other multinational companies, uh, Tanita, Polaroid, Eventually, I did come back to the university. It was it was an accident in between jobs, and I never left. So I thought that might put a smile uh, to your face. Thank you, Helen. Yeah, yes, for the sharing. You know, I think the the, the questions raised to uh, in, a, in in there about the work and job. You know, it's all dependent uh, for university. Our perspective is to provide as many as support we can to the students with us that give you the potential, let you, let you prepare to find any job in the future in your career time uh, development. That means that uh, we, we more focus with your experience and your learning and also your, um, your study you know, here. That, that part is the kind of thing we, we, we can't, we don't want to limit you. We can job you, we'll find in the future. You can be anything as, as a potential. Also, we don't want to, uh, limit you as well, your own mind as well. We try to give you a, a, a extra wings to help you to fly higher rather than, you know, let me say that you can take that computer or take the other things. You know, we, we just try to help you. And also I saw the, uh, some kind of question about the work visa. Um, it takes a little bit out of, out of our uh, knowledge part from my view. And, uh, but I knew I had provided some job um, visa service. And I think the best person you talk is to uh, to Angela, she is a professional yeah. for that part. <laughs> yeah, if you got any uh, questions about the work visa after the graduation, you can always contact IAE. So I think we cover most of the questions today, and thank you very much, uh, Haminia, Eros, and Gavin. I just want to know if you want to have uh, end up anything before we wrap up. 
Um, anything about like application or what kind of students you're really looking for or well, anything about about the course? Probably uh, uh, let uh, Yonis to share his idea about uh, what kind of students he looking for because I think he is the, uh, the tutor face to all the students. What kind of students? Yeah, what kind of student were you looking for? Excited. From student. <laughs> <laughs> Exciting student. That's one important element, yes, to come with excitement and uh, everything else will be, will be uh, really positive here. Yeah, thank Great. you. Thank you. How, thank from, uh, from school perspective, I think, uh, Haminia, do you have any recommendation? Which kind of student are you you're looking for? <laughs> any student that is called a patient in their life to make a difference in the world. Thank you. Thank you for so if you uh, if you want to have impact um, in the world in your lives around you um, yes we definitely we definitely want you thank you thank and you, from a, from my view is uh, for international office um, we're looking for everyone if you think you want to study in the UK and you're looking for a degree or upgrade or transform your life to the different direction we are here help you you know. Um, I really say we're looking for uh, all the friends, all the students, you know, if you want to really want to study, we are, we are the university in the UK and uh, waiting for you. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe That's just fun. something else to add, you know, the, the international community, as it has been mentioned, is quite, is quite large um, in, at the University of Hertfordshire. So this is, if this is something that, that is attractive um, to you, um, is um, the opportunity is there, and there are lots of clubs, activities. So it's not it's not only the, the program itself, um, but the experience and the life um, that is available um, uh, as a result of the program. So yeah, I thank you. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a very good point actually. Uh, also from the student uh, talk today. Uh, there's a, we have a, a, we have a, how a multiple culture community in local in the university. No, like the, we have 100 a student from 100 different countries at the background. And no one will left behind. That's a very good important. You come over to the UK. Obviously, you you interest with the UK cultures and also the learn some knowledge from the university. But also the great time to build up your own network. Uh, probably you learn the words already and you know, the network is very very important for your future career you got to probably you leave the uh, university um that uh, start your own uh, business whatever but the network will wheels you for your all future career development that is most important <laughs> i i like that Thank point I, I mean yeah, i totally agree this is kind of a uh, selling point for students to come to the uh thank you thank you very much i think we thank cover you. all today and uh, I have to finish this meeting. It's a little bit over time, and <laughs> but yeah, but I think the MBA in University of Hertfordshire is so attractive, and if anybody want to apply, please contact Hertfordshire University or contact IAE directly. And thanks for coming today. Thank you very much. Bye for now. Thank, thank you, Angela. You. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Thank, thank you. you. Bye, -bye. Bye, bye. bye. Thank you, Ernest. And uh, thank you, Hamina. Bye, bye. Thank you. And thank bye. you, Lumide. Bye, bye. <laughs> nice to meet you. Bye.